Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy. It's winter in Minnesota, right? It just into a new year. It's cold. It's been brutal. It actually is a little nicer today, maybe in the 20s, but it was below zero the last week. But I'm excited because I just got some seeds from my sister-in-law for Metal Blazing Star. So it's a fantastic butterfly attractor. It's a liatris that grows tall and to plant them, you need to stratify them, cold stratification. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to plant seeds so they're exposed to some freezing temperatures so they can um, break out of their little seed shells and grow in the spring. So I'm gonna talk about cold stratification today. So next, I'm gonna show you the tools I need to plant these metal blazing star seeds. All right, so here's what you need to do some cold stratification. If you want to do it naturally in the outdoors instead of putting it in your freezer or inside the house. So I'm going to start with, I've got these leftover containers from some plants I bought last year at the garden center. So that's what I'm going to uh, set my seeds into. I've got some potting soil. I mean, ideally you want to use the type of soil you're going to transplant them into your garden with. I'm going to use potting soil and hopefully that'll work in. And I'm going to put a little sand over the seeds because I'm just going to set the seeds on top and I'm going to put them outside in the winter here in Minnesota and I'm going to expose it to the elements just like a seed would in its natural habitat, right? It falls off its flower in the fall. It lands on the ground. It isn't pushed in a half inch deep. It's right on top maybe gets covered with some things, then it's exposed to the elements. And that's what you need for cold stratification. For my uh, metal blazing star, it's recommended at least 60 days it's exposed to freezing temperatures. And so I have hopefully at least 60 days left before it gets warm in the spring in Minnesota. So the sand will go over the seeds, just a light, a light surface thing of the seeds so the seeds don't blow away um, but even if it snows on these seeds or rains on them in the middle of the winter, that's okay. That's what happens in nature. I also have water because I want to put it in some really moist, wet uh, potting soil because again, that's how they'll uh, thrive the best. It's okay, right? It'll freeze, and, but you want to have it good and moist when you plant the seeds. And then lastly, I have my my metal blazing star seeds. So I'm really excited. I'll give you a little close up look at these. So here are the seeds for my metal blazing star. You can see the seeds are pretty small. So I'm gonna probably put about five or six for each of my containers. And hopefully some of them will grow and take off. And if I need to, I can weed them out, but I wanna give them enough, put enough seeds in to make sure I have a chance. All right, I started by taking one of my little containers here and filling it with potting soil. You can see I left just a little room at the top. And then next I'm gonna put some seeds in there. I'm gonna put about five or six seeds across the top of this container. So the seeds are really small, I've got them in here. And now I'm gonna take some of my sand and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. And again, the goal is with the sand to just kind of protect the seeds from wind blowing it out of my container. And I'm gonna have these sitting outside for the next two months in the winter of Minnesota. So hopefully that'll keep the seeds in place. If I get a little snow cover in it, that'll be great. I do have holes on the bottom of the container. So hopefully if there's you know any melting or liquid, it'll drain through. So I'm also gonna just make this nice and wet. So I'm gonna soak it with water. And again, you can put water in there. You want it nice and wet and moist. And I know hopefully today it's gonna get up to maybe above freezing, but I'm not sure. But it's leaking out the bottom a little bit. So I know that's probably good and moist. Okay, so I got my nine pots all set. I've got the seeds in there into the potting soil maybe a half dozen seeds per container. I sprinkled it with sand to keep it from blowing, the seeds from blowing away when I set them outside. And I made, I soaked them with water so they're nice and moist. So this is to try to replicate the natural process of seeds in the north. 
They go through a cold stratification process. These blazing star seeds take 60 days of cold stratification at least to be successful uh, to crack that shell on the seed, to help it open it, the freezing, the thawing, that back and forth as it gets to spring is what helps these seeds, uh, you know, turn into plants. So hopefully you can try this. There's all kinds of uh, native plants to Minnesota that need cold stratification. Milkweed needs it, Blazing Star, Leatris, um, Heliopsis. Um, so again, all kinds of, most seeds in Minnesota or northern climates need this cold stratification process to be successful. So I hope you try it. I'm going to set these out in the backyard now, find a spot where it'll be a little bit protected, but still I wanted to get exposed to the weather and the sun and the snow. And so hopefully you give it a try for your seeds if you're living in the north. Thanks. All right, I hope you enjoyed your lesson on cold stratification. Again, I was using it for the Meadow Blazing Star, but it works great for any plant in the northern climates, like especially milkweed, the Monarch Host plant. It works great for other kinds of northern plants. So try it. Some only need 30 days, some need 60 days. Mine, the Meadow Blazing Star, needs 60 days. I'm going to show you some pictures now of this Meadow Blazing Star when it comes to full growth, three to four feet tall. Sometimes it takes a second year to really get the great uh, blossom, but it'll track all kinds of butterflies and hummingbirds, and it's just perfect for your butterfly gardens. That's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great winter. Start thinking about your butterfly garden for the spring. We'll see you soon.